Okay, here's what I'm just calling the cranky lid motor. And it's one of my famous lid motor designs. It's jar lids. Uh, and this is the bent up paper clip deal. But I, instead of using magnets on the rim and then having drivers, I put a crank on it. Like my last videos where I'm cranking it around with a solenoid. And that's a 30 gauge wire on a sewing machine bobbin, plastic bobbin. And then the uh, magnetism just holds the bent up paper clip going out like a push rod on the crank to rotate the rotor, the lid motor. And it's just a simple reed switch. And I was trying to get away from the contacts that I had on my other uh, uh, videos uh, device uh, before. So I, I got this going. Let's see if I can get it to run here. There she goes. It likes it better when it's vertical. Less friction on it. But that's my cranky lid motor. I'm using a crankshaft on the lid to rotate it and then the solenoid uh, activated with that reed switch there as the magnet goes in and out anyway that was something I've been working on the last few days is trying to get away from the brushes because there was so much loss in friction and uh, it wasn't a very precise way to switch this thing was the brushes, so I went to the reed switch here. And uh, what I'd really like to do is do a full electronic switching on something like this to, to make it reliable, because this thing isn't very reliable. This crank deal, if you're using mechanical contacts or even the reed switch, if I could make this into an electronic type of uh, solenoid engine I'd be much happier. Anyway, that's the cranky lid motor. Thanks for watching.